Protecting your steel from corrosion is one of the most basic aspects of knife care, but many people neglect it. In spite of its name, even stainless steel is not impervious to rust and needs to be cared for. Today, we're going to be covering two of the two easiest ways to make sure your blades stay rust free. Corrosion on a blade can impact the structure, strength, and aesthetics of your knives. The good news is that protecting your knives is a very easy process. Corrosion is the result of a chemical reaction between the oxygen in the air and the iron in the steel. All we need to do is create a barrier between the two. The first method to do this, cooking spray. You don't need a fancy high-tech oil in order to protect your knives from corrosion. I found cooking spray to be quite effective. It's cheap, it can be found pretty much anywhere, and it's easy and quick to apply. Simply spray some oil onto both sides of the blade and use a paper towel to wipe away the excess. Make sure that you have the oil applied to the entirety of the blade and you are done. Cooking spray is ideal when you're working with knives that are used and cleaned frequently. I use cooking spray regularly on cooking and hunting knives. After scrubbing down my blades and drying them, I can apply the oil and put them away with only about a minute's time. As much as I love cooking spray though, it is not my choice for long-term protective coating. This leads to the second option for protecting your blades from corrosion. Renaissance Wax Now Renaissance Wax was created as a preservative for antique items. It's a favorite of museums and collectors all over and is very good at what it does. It's applied to antique weapons, armor, furniture, tools, etc. It's non-reactive and can be used on steel, brass, wood, ivory, and pretty much anything else you would make a knife out of. A wax coating also has the benefit of being more durable. It won't simply wear off or rub off. It's also much less susceptible to becoming contaminated before and after application and can be safely left on a blade for a long period of time. Renaissance Wax is also pretty cheap. You can pick up a can of about this size for 25 bucks on Amazon, even less on sale elsewhere. I've had this 200 milliliter can for years, and as a knife maker and a collector, I still have a long way to go before I can get close to finishing it off. Applying Renaissance Wax is also pretty straightforward. The wax is applied to the blade in a thin layer, and then allowed to dry, then gently buffed. The only drawback to wax is that it can be somewhat laborious to apply on a regular basis or to a large batch of knives. I use this wax on every brand new knife I make, swords, fighting knives, axe, and other blades that don't require constant cleaning. So now that you know my two preferred methods of protecting against corrosion, here are some tips to keep in mind. First, clean your knives quickly after every use. Whittling on a branch doesn't require a full scrub down afterward, but a stint cutting stakes does. Make sure to take care of your blades as soon as you can afterwards. Second, make sure that you dry your knives immediately after washing. Water only accelerates corrosion. I made the mistake of leaving a Swedish Mora knife out to air dry. I came back an hour later to find that my mirror shine blade had developed a dull patina over the course of an hour. After you wash your blades, dry them and oil them, it doesn't take long. Third, stainless steel isn't. It is better classified as stain resistant. Stainless steel is much more forgiving when it comes to maintenance, but given sufficient time and wrong conditions, your stainless steel knife will also succumb to the tyranny of oxidation. Fourth, Damascus steel is extra susceptible to corrosion. Properly etched Damascus will have a much greater surface area than a blade that has been polished smooth. Going back to Gen Chem, a larger surface rate means a faster rate of reaction. Make sure that you are thorough when caring for Damascus and make sure that you get your oil or wax into every little crook and cranny. So now you know how to prevent your blades from corroding and rusting. If this video was helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. I have videos similar to this others focused on knife making, and some exploring the nature and origin of various knife styles. 
Until next time, stay safe and keep living the knife life.